You know, there's other games where you can make even more. Is this some kind of pyramid scheme? Look, I'm desperate, but not that desperate. Miss Perez, earlier you signed away your physical rights. Your name, Alyssa Perez, 14 years old. You attend Wakefield High School. You're in your freshman year. You owe a total of $330,000 to the bank. Who are you? What business of yours is all that? We don't have many spots left. Think about it. First game you'll be playing is Red Light, Green Light. The objective is to make it to the other side of the court without being eliminated by the doll. The key to winning is stability. Don't run. Do walk with a wide stance and feet flat on the ground. This will keep your center of gravity low and stable. So you've survived the first game. Don't get too comfortable. This is only the beginning. The next game is the Dalgona game. The aim is to carve the shape within the time limit. Breaking the shape as well as not finishing in time will result in your elimination. Don't focus entirely on speed. Do put most of your effort into precision. The structure of Dalgona candy is very porous. This means that you cannot accurately predict how it will crack. Because of this, you need to avoid breaking and carving it in a way that is uncontrolled. Moving on, the next game is the classic game of tug of war. In order to win, you must pull the rope towards your platform to drop your opponents. Don't put all your strongest players in the front. Do alternate between strong and weak players with the strongest in the back. This will allow force to be distributed evenly with the strongest player acting as an anchor point. Nice, you got through half the games. Things only get harder from here. The fourth game is a game of marbles. The objective is to play a game of your choice with your partner. The player who manages to take all the marbles from their partner wins. Don't choose a game that leaves victory up to random chance. Do choose a game that you know you can win. The game I recommend is called Nim. Nim is played by placing all marbles into a single pile. The two players take turns removing either one or two marbles from the pile. The person to remove the last marble from the pile gets to keep them all. To ensure victory, make sure you go first removing two marbles. The other player will then remove either one or two marbles from the pile. Your next move needs to be the opposite of their last move. If they remove one marble, you remove two. If they remove two marbles, you remove one. This ensures that you will remove the last marble from the pile, thus winning the game. Now it's no time to get sentimental. The fifth game is Glass Stepping Stones. The objective is to cross a bridge made of two types of glass, tempered and normal. The tempered glass is strong enough to safely cross, while the normal glass will break if stepped on. You will need to correctly guess which tiles are safe to cross in order to pass this game. Don't leave choosing the correct side to chance. Do think outside the box. Players need to take off their shoes before playing. I recommend removing your jacket and placing the shoes into it, tying a knot on the end to make a makeshift flail that you can use to test the glass panels. Congratulations, you made it to the sixth game. For the final game, you'll be playing Squid Game. In Squid Game, the attacker must enter the squid-shaped court, run past the defense, and then tap the area inside the squid's head with his foot to win. The defender must block the attacker and force them outside the court's bounds to win. Don't play offense. Do play defense. The offense has to make it through a very small opening without getting hurt, while the defense only has to get the offense out of bounds. Congratulations, you've beat the game, eliminated the competition, and won the $38 million. Do you want to win?